It's the details that make a scene really stand out. So these wolves here, for example, that are just doing their thing in the environment. Um, we have some rabbits and some deers and various different birds and things in this scene. So in this video, I'm going to look at how I've done that. I've used two assets, uh, one we've looked at before called Emerald, Emerald AI, and the other is Crux. It's Crux that we're going to look at in this video. It's a uh, procedural spawner, so it spawns the wildlife somewhere around about where the camera is, like these birds here, for example. So let's have a look. So this is the asset, asset store page for Crux. Uh, it's a procedural spawner and we're going to use it to add some deer into our scene. I've already imported it into the scene and I have actually already added um, some stuff which gives us uh, a, a rabbit. Um, but um, I think actually we'll start from the beginning. I'll delete that and I'll show you how to add this in from the beginning. So we go to the window menu we go to crooks we go to create we go to create new crooks system and that gives us the object i just deleted very simple one thing you need to do is tell it what represents your player in the scene so we're going to drag in our case the fly cam into there and we're now good to go um we do need to define a um uh, some biomes so here is biome management we click on that we click create new biome and we're going to have this biome is going to be called our grassland or grass let's just call it grass it's not a like grassland we can add a, a custom icon if we have one uh, let's in fact find one of grass um, that's pretty obviously grass so we'll pick that one uh, we can change the background just to make it easier to find this is all optional you don't have to do any of this but uh, we're going to do it just because you can and then there's three different types of creature you can create wildlife are typically um, they could be aggressive but they, uh, they they typically are naturally occurring creatures tend to be like things that are going to attack you and, and are bigger typically usually aggressive usually non-animal and then npc or other are special characters we're just going to deal with with wildlife here uh, in order to add our deer we need to create what's called a crooks object so inside of my my stuff folder i have a crooks folder and inside there i al already have a rabbit but let's start from scratch and do uh, create crooks new crooks object we're going to call this deer and we're going to use the same pack that we had uh, previously for our models so if you recall we had the animal pack deluxe and the animal pack deluxe v2 bargain packs absolutely excellent uh, um, for the for the money uh, there's a couple of deer prefabs inside of here we're going to drag that one of those deer prefabs into our scene um, because we want to do some work with it Just drag my object into there give it the right tag uh, oh I'm not, I'm not not using tags in this particular thing give it the right layer which is ambient AI it's going to be passive it's not going to be that brave it's, yeah it's okay I'll leave it as brave dynamic wonder there we go click set up that has set up our character to be used our model to be used by emerald ai i now need to set up the animations going to go very quickly like i said go back to um the wolf episode um in order to see how this actually works uh if you can't keep up with me here so idle oops i have to go to the actual clip idle idle for both combat and non-combat because we don't have a lot of animations for this for movements we're going to use the run and the walk first of all walk we don't have any for walking left and right so we're just going to use the same animation same as we did with the wolf and here we go we don't have any turns so we'll just go with the walk now 
later on we may turn this into um, uh, something that can be chased by the wolves for example if you remember the wolf scene we're actually eating uh, the, the wolves are eating the uh, the wolf so uh, sorry the wolves are eating the deer so let's give it a die animation there it is and it just occurred to me I could actually go to the idle and give it the eat animation as an alternative idle animation um, okay whoops put it in the wrong slot idle there and eat is an alternative up here okay so we're all set up with the controller or at least when I click the create animation controller go through to my stuff go to animal pack deluxe rename that to male deer and so that's that and the last thing that I have to do is give it the head transformation so that it can correctly detect things I just drill down the skeleton until I get to the head. All the way down, head top, head transform. Right, we're done. So we're all set up with Emerald AI for just basic wandering uh, of, the, of the character. Um, and that was also added all of the bits that I need for uh, nav mesh and all of the uh, the other uh, pieces that we have. So let's now turn that into a prefab drop that into the my stuff animal pack deluxe use the same naming convention as i've been using for the others so that is emerald ai male deer okay good now we go back to our crooks object that we created but didn't do anything with the deer here give it a name male deer drag in the object we want to spawn it's not the one in the scene i want to delete the one in the scene the one i actually want is in the, the prefabs that we just created not the rabbit oops i keep clicking off it which is problematic let's lock that and go back to the prefabs and go to male deer drop that in there so we can check that it's the one that we actually want. Um, use Crudgy Cat Crooks. This is you can leave all of these as standard. Use the uh, the manual and the tutorials for Crooks to to understand. Actually, we don't want to leave it standard. We want it to be certainly rarer than the um, rabbits. Uh, let's actually make it rare because this is a male deal deer. We may have some females later. Perhaps have them more uh, common males are not going to be spawned in groups we're only going to spawn them as a single uh, and we're going to cap the population at perhaps three okay we are now all good with our uh, crooks object so we go back to our crooks system we've got this lock so we have to unlock that and we come down here and we have to now say uh, add some wildlife in and we're going to add in our deer crooks object i'm also going to add in one i previously prepared which is the rabbit the rabbit is going to um, appear more commonly and does appear in groups what crooks can do is um, it can um, only spawn on certain types of texture okay so we're going to add a texture in and we need to find our grass texture which is in nature manufacturers textures you can of course look these up in the cts profile uh, or in the terrain or you know any of the usual ways but i happen to know that is our grass texture that we're seeing here and now those rabbits and deer will only spawn where they appear not for example on the water or on the rocks so now we simply hit play okay so our scene has started up and if we go into the scene view it's not quite started okay uh, you can see now the 
spawned objects walking around and if you look inside of the crooks object there is three male deers which is the the cat cap that we created and if we zoom in on one whoops there we go and off it goes okay i haven't fine-tuned any of the animations it doesn't have root root animation on this particular model i've lost it uh, and so that can be problematic. Um, however, they're there. It's working. It's running. It's defaulting to the run, which may not be what we want. If we go into the game view and wander around, uh, maximize, we should see one. I obviously don't have the uh, Pegasus fly throughs running at the moment. I am controlling this with the fly camera in the hope that we see a rabbit or a deer it's just like taking a walk in the park well all right not the park let's turn the gizmos on it'll give us a chance of hunting it down There's one over there. Let's go see what that is. There, we have a deer. Excellent. So now we can uh, add a few more things in. And what? I, oh, there's another deer. Look. Uh, what I want to do is add a female uh, deer in here, uh, maybe spawn some wolves uh, as well. Um, and I also want to change the spawning of the fish and the birds that we're using uh, to ensure that um, we're not wasting resources having them visible uh, all the time. So I've completed doing the uh, various different animals that I want to put in here and I've learned quite a bit of using crooks. So I just wanted to highlight a few things. Uh, first of all, there is something that I forgot to show you um, in the main part and that was that when you're using complete terrain shader, uh, there's a special feature that you need to turn off in CTS. And that feature is, if I go to my terrain, which is under the Gaia environment, select terrain, go through to my CTS profile and scroll down to the optimization settings, there is this setting here, strip textures. That is by default on. If it's on, then uh, it doesn't work. The, uh, the spawner doesn't work. So you have to turn that off. I had done that off camera previously and I just forgot to highlight it. So uh, it behaves the same way as you saw uh, previously. The second thing that uh, I discovered was that um, Crooks is pretty much optimized for um, a kind of an open world environment where you're wandering through the world and and so things are spawned in a big circle around the spawn uh, target the player that we had so if we go to our crooks object i'll be able to show you what i mean um, you may recall that on the global settings we set the player transform and that all of the uh, objects are going to spawn around that now i did have the player transform as the fly cam but that causes a bit of a problem. If we look at the scene view at the top here, I'll just expand it out a little. The camera is here, uh, is here. And if I was to spawn around the camera, it would be in a circle like that. So a vast majority of the wildlife would be outside of the camera's view. In a world where the player is controlling the camera, that's not a problem. The player may go anywhere. Um, but in this, we, um, we don't have control over the camera. We're following a path. And so what I was finding was too much of the um, wildlife was being spawned away from the camera, behind the camera or to the right of the camera. Uh, and you can see that here. Um, the camera is here. And you see this circle? That's where we're actually spawning. And I'm doing that by using this crooks spawn center let me bring that bit more into the view which is actually just an invisible sphere um, it could just be an empty object uh, in the center of this circle 
and so these are things that spawned in front of the camera but are about to despawn because they've gone behind and these are all items that are spawning in front of the camera now without those couple of changes um, you almost never saw any wildlife because it wasn't spawning enough that was in front of the camera even in this scenario, you still don't see a lot of the wildlife. But then that's the point, isn't it? If you go for a walk out in the in the uh, in in the uh, real world, you don't see wildlife everywhere. So I'm not too worried about that. Although, um, to be honest, I would like to have more guarantees that I would see some things on the camera. Um, I have a lot of different wildlife animals in here uh, you can see them all here i've got rabbits i've got cr uh, some crows some female deer some wild boar um, there's also some bears although i don't think any have actually spawned in this scene um, uh, so i'd like to see more of them and crooks doesn't give you that level of control so i never went to the point of replacing the um the things that are actually on the path of the uh of the camera so the wolves and the so the fish and the birds that we had previously had i've left those as they are for the time being so there we have it um let's take a look at the final render Thank mm -hmm. you. 